Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. It's good to have you in the building. I'm hearing a lot of great things about your music as far as you coming back on a solo mission, and I've been waiting a long time for this. You know what? It's not, I don't feel it's like coming back on a solo mission. This is now my solo mission. Right. I've never tried for myself to do it. I think many people expected it of me, and I think it, it takes a person to really want that for your life. You know, it's very, very personal to give away your truth and your honesty and I think the way I write and the way I live my life I wanted to keep it private for a certain amount of time you know you come into womanhood I was in a group and you know growing pains and growing apart it takes time to to heal all of that stuff so you know now I'm here DC and I'm happy and I'm, I'm ready now right to give that away now um I think you were in D.C. a couple of... Were you in D.C. like a, a couple of months ago for a couple of events? And were you at a Bohemian Caverns Live or somewhere like that on U Street? I did something in D.C. I've been traveling so much. Like, the past 48 hours have been ridiculous. I've been in three places in, in two days. Limited. But, um, yeah, D.C. I love D.C. D.C. is like one of my favorite markets. 930 Club is one of my favorite places to perform at. Done Club Love a million times. It's just... DC is a really fun place to be, and I'm, I, I can't wait for you to hear the new record. It's gonna be a DC fave. All right, <laughs> love that. We're gonna have a Go Go remix of how, uh, oh, Hope She Cheats. Yes, Hope She Cheats. The Go Go <laughs> remix will actually make the song so much better. I mean, anything that with a Go Go mix on it makes the song that much better, you know. But that's what DC does to you. It gives you that grit, and I just love it. Now, tell me this. Now, you're coming into the music scene. It, You've done a lot of stuff that's like the music has been on. So I don't want to call it neo soul, like new soul. You've done some stuff with it's not with artists that's not in the mainstream. Okay. So this record's gonna be a mainstream record, correct? Or how are you looking at it? Um, I just look as it look at it as a record. I mean, if you say I've done neo soul stuff. I wrote Michael Jackson's Butterflies, Alicia Keys, Go Ahead, Jamie Fox. Freaking me and Number you One. All, you wrote yeah. all that. So that's not neo soul. It's just how can we don't know that though. Check credits. People don't buy albums no more. They download off of iTunes. Don't look at the, you know, her, the album daughter. only. It's her. No, but it's. I'm not calling that a problem. <laughs> but back in the day, you used to want to see the album packaging and right. you know who did what. I know that I wrote those records. You know, I think slowly and sh but surely people will recognize me for the body of work that I have. So with my album coming out now, I have songs that I think are country and western big. Or, you know, big part mainstream big. But I just believe in good music. And with the album that I wanted to make, I just wanted to make an album full of great songs that came from my heart. And I think that's a wonderful opportunity to have, and I'll, I'll never take that for granted. When is the album coming? September. It's called Late Nights and Early Mornings. First single will be Hope She Cheats. Okay, now give us the rundown of everything that you've written so people will know from this point on, Damn it! I can't. That's too much. I mean, from Bilal to Michael Jackson, Glenn Lewis, uh, The Game, Freeway, uh, Jamie Foxx, Alicia Keys, Mario. There's too much. I can't, I can't remember. Look at Wikipedia. <laughs> Google you, right? Google me, which sounds terrible, but even I look at the stuff that I've done. I'm like, wow, I did that? Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Now I get to me. <laughs> Do you? I can't wait. Good. I'm glad.